Good day, learners. Yeah, welcome back to our class. In today's chemistry class, we are going to be looking at one of the laws in gas laws, which mean, which is Graham's law of diffusion. Now, what does this what does this law state? Graham's law of diffusion states that the rate of diffusion of a gas is inversely proportional to the square root of its vapor densities or densities under the same conditions of temperature and pressure. Now, mathematically, rate of diffusion of a gas is inversely proportional to the square root of its vapor density. Let's use our R to represent the rate of diffusion and D to represent density. From here, mathematically, when you remove the functionality, you put a constant, R is equal to K over square root of D. Let's put this one over 1 and cross multiply. K multiplied by 1 half K is equal to R square root of D. Now, we don't need this K. There's nothing I want to use it for except in mathematics. Now, let us now consider we have two gases, R1 and R2. Then this expression will be uh, will be modernized as R1 square root of D1 is equal to R2 square root of D2. Therefore, you can have R1 over R2 to be equal to square root of D2 over square root of D1. So from here, when you cross multiply from here, R1 will come and meet square root of D1. We we'll get to this stage. R2 remains square root of D2, we get to the stage. To proceed, likewise, the diffusion rate of a gas also depends on its relative molecular mass. That is, the larger the mass of a gas, the lower the rate of diffusion, meaning that a gas will diffuse faster if it has a lower mass, while a gas will be slow in diffusion if the mass is bigger. That is the explanation of this rate of diffusion. The rate is inversely proportional to the density. The higher the rate, the lower the density of that particular gas. Okay, when well, you now compare the rate of diffusion to the mass of the gas, from here we can say rate of diffusion is inversely proportional to the square root of its relative molecular mass. Let M represent relative molecular mass. As we've done here, R is equal to K over square root of relative molecular mass, over 1. So K times 1, we have K, is equal to R square root of relative molecular mass. So when we consider having two gases, we expand this one as R1 square root of M1 is equal to R2 square root of M2, then we have R1 over R2 to be equal to square root of M2 divided by square root of M1. So this is another formula for calculating a uh, rate of diffusion. The first one, rate of diffusion and density, while the second one, rate of diffusion and relative molecular mass. Now, we should recall that relative molecular mass is equal to 2 multiplied by vapor density. So this is the formula for rate of molecular mass to multiply by vapor density. Now, the next stage we now move on to is rate of diffusion also depends on the time taking. That is, there will not be a diffusion rate without time. The word rate means time. So how do we now connect rate of diffusion to time? Now, the rate of diffusion is equal to volume of gas divided by time taken for the gas to diffuse. So rate equals to volume over time. Now, we're going to consider two conditions. As when the gas are, are, the, are having the same volume and when they are having different volume. Assuming we have gas A and B. So for the gas A, at different volume, the rate of diffusion of gas A will equals to volume of A over time of A, while rate of diffusion 
of gas B will equal to volume of gas B over time of gas B. So from here, I now use this as R1, RA over RB will equal to, so the, this one, VA over TA divided by VB over TB. That is when we are having, when the volume are different. What of when the volume are the same? Now, at the same volume, meaning that VA we equals to VB equals to V. They are going to be equal. Meaning that we are going to use V to represent them. So from here, RA will now equals to V over TA. Why RB we equals to V over TB. So RA divided by RB is going to be equals to V over TA divided by V over TB. Therefore, V over TA multiplied by TB will come up. TB divided by V. V cancel V. So don't forget this one is RA over RB. From here, we can ask that our RA over RB will equal to TB over TA. Don't forget that A is standing as our, our one, while B is standing as our, our what? Our uh, two. Generally now, generally, generally, we can conclude that R1 over R2 is going to equal to, from here, square root of D2 over square root of D1. Also, R1 over R2 equals to square root of M2 over square root of M1. Also, R A over R B equals to, this our T B means T2. T2 over T1. Now, this is the formula for calculating uh, rate of diffusion. So, from here, any two they are discussing in the equation, we are going to mix up two of these ones. And that will of R1 over R2 equals to square root of D2 over square root of D1, or R1 over R2 equals to square root of M2 over square root of M1, or with the time. So let us now look at the way you can apply this in solving questions. If you are a new member on this channel and you've not subscribed to my channel, kindly do so and click the notification bell in order to be seeing my subsequent classes. Please do try to share, comment, and like this program. Let's move on. Example one, 400 centimeter cube of a gas A diffused through a porous partition in five seconds. And 200 centimeter cube of a gas B diffused in 20 seconds under the same conditions of temperature and pressure. Question A, calculate the rates of diffusion of gases A and B. Question B, which gas is denser? Now, if you look at this, 400 cm cube of gas A, volume of gas A, and 200 cm cube of gas B, they have different volume. Since they have different volume, we are going to work them separately. For gas A, rate of diffusion of gas A equals the volume of gas A over the time taken for that gas A. That is, volume of gas A is 400 cm cube divided by time for gas A is five seconds. So five year one, five year, five year one, five year we have 80. That is what? 80 then centimeter cube per second. That is the volume for that uh, rate of diversion of gas A. Okay, that is question A. For gas B, RB equals the volume of B divided by time taken for B. The volume of B here is 200 centimeter cube over the time taken for B is 20 seconds. So we have 10, that is 10 centimeter cube per seconds. So that is question A. To calculate the rate of diversion of gases A and B. Question B, which gas is denser? When you look at this, the rate of diversion of gas A is 80 and gas B is 10. So which means that gas A is 80 times faster than gas B. So, which means that 
gas A is lighter compared to gas B. So gas B is a denser gas, meaning a gas that is more heavier. The meaning of denser means heavier. So this term means that the rate of diffusion, the rate of spreading, that is diffusion, the rate of spreading of gas B is 10. While the rate of spreading of gas A is 80. You can see that 80 is more than 10 by 8 times. So which means that this one is heavier than this. So gas B is denser. B is denser. Example 2. 200 centimeter cube of hydrogen diffused through a porous pot in 40 seconds. How long will it take 300 cm cube of chlorine to diffuse through the same pots? Now, when you look at this, is uh, the hydrogen, first hydrogen having a time of what? 40 seconds. Then, when it is now 300 cm cube for that chlorine, of chlorine, it's going to diffuse in how many hours, how many seconds? 200 cm cube of hydrogen, volume of hydrogen. Is equals to 200 centimeter cube. That was to a porous pot of pot in 40 seconds. Time of hydrogen is 40 seconds. How long will it take 300 cm cube of chlorine? Time of chlorine is unknown. When the volume of that chlorine is 300 centimeter cube. From this parameter, we can get the rate of diffusion of hydrogen to be equal to volume of hydrogen divided by time of hydrogen. Volume of hydrogen here is 200 over 40, which gives 5 centimeter cube per second. So 4 year 1, 4 year 5. This is for rates of hydrogen. Now, rates of chlorine will be equal to volume of chlorine divided by time taken for chlorine. Volume of chlorine is 300 over time taken for chlorine, TCL2 units, centimeter cube per seconds. Now, we, are, we don't want to compare this rate of diffusion of chlorine to the relative molecular mass because we can get the relative molecular mass of chlorine and hydrogen. Okay, molar mass of hydrogen, that one will be one, atomic mass is one times two, that is two. Relative molecular mass for chlorine. That one is chlorine is 35.5 multiplied by 2 gives 71. Now we now see R1 over R2 is equal to the square root of M2 over the square root of what? M1. So your R1 is your fat, which is hydrogen. Your R2 is your chlorine, M2 chlorine, and hydrogen. Now, what is the rate of hydrogen here that we got? We got 5. 5 divided by rate of chlorine. This rate of chlorine, 300 divided by time of chlorine is equal to square root of molecular mass of chlorine is 71 over square root of 2. So from here, you can say 5 divided by 300 divided by time of chlorine is equal to square root of 71 over 2. 5 multiplied by Time of chlorine divided by 300 is equal to so 71 divided by 2, and we now find the square root of it. Here we have 5.9582. 5 goes here 1, 5 goes here 60. Let's say over 1 here. Plus multiply. Time of chlorine times 1. Time of chlorine equals to 60 multiplied by 5.9582. So when we multiply, what do we have? We have 357.5 seconds. So this is the time of chlorine that is going to take chlorine to diffuse at the volume of 300 centimeters. Example 3. The relative rate of diffusion of the gas X as compared to carbon 4 oxide is 27 to 29. Relative rate of diffusion. Meaning, this 27 refers to gas X, Y29 refers to carbon oxide. Now calculate the relative molecular mass of the gas. Which gas? 
that is gas X. Now, we are to compare rates and rising molecular mass. That is, R1 over R2 is equal to square root of M2 over square root of M1. Our R1 is the first gas being mentioned here. Rx over second gas, R carbon 4 oxide, equals to square root of M carbon 4 oxide over square root of Mx. Now, before we can apply this, let us find the molecular mass for carbon 4 oxide. Atomic mass of carbon is 12 plus oxygen. 16 multiplied by 2. 12 plus 32, which gives 44. Now, applying it in this formula, we have Rx, which is 27, divided by R carbon 4 oxide, 29, is equal to square root of mass, molecular mass of carbon 4 oxide is 44 over that of M X. I want to remove this square roots. I have to square both sides. 27 over 29 square equals the square root of 44 over M X square. So square cancels square roots. Now we find the square of 27 and the square of 29. So we have 729 divided by. 841 is equal to 44 over mx. Cross multiply. This multiply this. 729 mx is equal to 841 multiplied by 44. Divide through by 729. 729 mx divided by 729 is equal to 841 times 44 divided by 729. This comes with this. Our mx will now equal to, we have 50.8. So this is the relative molecular mass of our gas x. Now, this is how far we can go in this first lesson. By God's grace, we are going to proceed in the next class. But before we move on, kindly subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell for my subsequent content. And do share, comment, and like my lessons. Thank you very much.